Among the best ways to guard against risk is to know your strengths. Of course, it also helps to know your weaknesses. Watch out for threats and target opportunities for growth. For these reasons, the SWOT analysis is the acronym for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities and Threats is a long-standing risk management essential. So, the today topic of lecture and the discussion is SWOT analysis and how risks are managed by this technique. SWOT analysis is a wonderful tool for identifying risk in a project. You can use this analysis to optimize your company's output by finding out its exact potential and make the best of what you have got. This will help you to reduce the chances of failure in the future by understanding what your shortcomings are and eliminate all of the scope creeps that can be deadly. When you have all of your cards to play and are transparent about the potential, you can effectively build a strategy that sets you apart from all of the competitors and fight head on with them in an open market. Let us now move on how you can perform a successful SWOT analysis of your business. To effectively perform a SWOT analysis, you need to draw up an analysis matrix that consists of 2 into 2 grid that has 4 sections. Each of every element of SWOT, which is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. You can perform this analysis with two completely different perspectives. The different perspectives Either you can get your team together and perform the analysis as a kick-off strategy creation or you can use it as a formal tool that is actually is. In either scenario, you should gather a team from all the corners of your company. The team should consist of uh, the members from various departments so that you can brainstorm ideas off of them. To get an exact idea about where your company is currently standing. During this activity, whenever you get to identify a potential strength, weakness, opportunity or threat to the company, you should write it down in a specific space on a SWOT analysis matrix which we discuss later. Most of the time, we get bombarded with a lot of different ideas that can fall under multiple sections of SWOT matrix. In order to clarify which idea belongs to what column, think of strength, weaknesses as your internal factors because they are related to all of the elements in the organization. That may include resources and team members. Also think of all the opportunities and threats as external factors come forward because of the company interaction with the entities like its competitor, the market or the wider economy. To make this process easier, let us now discuss the four elements that make up SWOT analysis. The first one is strengths. Strengths are those characteristics of your company that they do far more effectively than any competitor out there. These are basically the distinguishing factors that separate them from everyone in the market. Think of all of the good qualities and yield results your company has generated so far and put them in strengths. Why? Because anything positive can motivate your team to perform more productively. Strengths can also include a set of manufacturing processes or access to certain elements, all of which can set the company apart from anyone else. 
when you are adding strength to the matrix just remember all the properties of your company that makes it solid so appealing to the customers basically anything that you do better than your competitor drives in new business and uses the lowest number of resources goes in the strength section once you have done all that turn your whole perspective and think about your business from the competitor's eye so you have you have put your feet into the shoe of your competitor you need to find out all of the elements in your strategies that the competitor might see you see as your strengths you need to remember that for anything to be considered as strength it might or must bring your company a very clear advantage for example if all of your competitors are supplying high quality items to the market it's not a unique strength if you do that too it just a unnecessary criterion to be filled second one is the weakness so in weaknesses when it comes to listen your weaknesses you need to be very honest with yourself and list all of the possible weak points of your company that you can think of what this will do is weed out whatever characteristics you have that can damage your company in a longer run all of this makes it extremely vital that you be honest and embrace your weakness before you have to face any hardships or unpleasant truths along the way weaknesses fall under the same generic category as your strengths do because there are internal factors this means that to analyze and eradicate any potential weaknesses you need to look at your own resources people procedures and systems think about all of the practices that you can adopt and the toxic ones you need to stay away from so that your company can eradicate its weaknesses and follow the path of improvement then comes opportunities opportunities are of um are all of the practices and potential production routes that can that you can adopt in order to bring move more value to the company these opportunities arise from outside the company which make this element of sort analysis one of the external factor for the company these opportunities presents themselves in a very uh, market you are a part of or in a technology that you use to make yourself better than your competitor you need to be the best at spotting the potential opportunities as quickly as possible and make spontaneously decisions what do decision will do is bring in more and more real to your company and make you the leader of the market learn to separate the good from all of the bad opportunities when it comes to positive opportunity that you are sure that they will bring in positive change size doesn't matter whatever uh, big or small you just need to make sure that they get implemented as soon as possible as quickly as possible then comes threats threats are another example of external threats uh, that can be damaging to the business these can include supply chain problems shortage of uh, recruits and drastic shifts in the market requirements it's very important for a successful business that the management anticipate all of the threats in a planning phase and be ready to block them from damaging the business 
you should keep in mind all of the obstacles that can potentially affect the business while you get your product to the market and start selling it you need to always keep a close eye on whatever your competitors are doing and what threats you need to diffuse if you want to challenge your competitors in the open market this all well and good but you also need to make sure that what you are doing should bring a positive change to your company and not just copying your competitors because that strategy can prove to be uh, fatal at some times a question might raise uh, in your mind that how to use the result of SWOT analysis that you perform once you have acquired all of the results from the SWOT analysis you will be facing with a lot of options for a potential actions you can actually perform to help your business uh, based on processes originated from analysis uh, you'll want to build on your strengths head off any threats make use of every positive opportunity and boost all of your weaker areas but before you apply any of the techniques that you think will be helpful just take a step back and look for all the possible connection of the entities between the different section of the matrix for example uh, various trends can open many other opportunities or eliminating some threats can open up a whole load of different opportunities that will bring more yield to the company um, there might be another question that um, how often should you perform a SWOT analysis? Uh, to answer such question is a bit tricky. The safe answer is likely once a year, but if you are fighting to regain your competitive position or want to grow aggressively, doing an analysis each quarter could pay off. Whatever you decide, don't let this risk management essential slip off your radar for too long. So in conclusion, uh, I have to say that SWOT analysis is a simple yet very powerful uh, framework to analyze four of the most vital company, uh, vital components of your company that can make or break your business that's why while carrying out this analysis you need to make sure that you are realistic as possible and quite unforgiving when it comes to stating your weakness um, which will make this process successful and bring a very powerful change to your business